So today I'm going to be doing an updated what's in my pencil case video. The last video I did on what was in my pencil case got a ton of views and loads of people had asked me to do an updated one. So I thought I would share with you what I'm currently using. I'm no longer at school or college or any sort of education so this isn't something that I carry around in my bag. This is just the pencil case that I have on my desk with all of the pens that I use regularly. So the pencil case itself I actually did a review on on my blog which I'll leave link below if you want to go have a read. This this is a Smiggle hard top pencil case. The colour isn't really picking up how it is in real life on camera. It's much more of a raspberry pink than it is a, it's kind of picking up almost red on the camera. It then has a kind of minty teal zip going around the edge and then it also has this going around the edge which is pink glitter. So like I said it's a hard top pencil case. So the outside is a hard plastic. On the front it has this kind of bobbly design so these circles are all raised up and the logo as well is also raised. So you can see there it's kind of bobbly. On the back it also has the logo which is raised up but the rest of it is flat so when you open it up on the left you have some netted pockets in the smaller pocket I just have a rubber this is just a Bell and Boo one which I got in a Brimble's box and then in here I have some colouring pens these ones I actually found in my local Clark stationers they're called Colour Peps but colours spelt with no U so I'm assuming they're not a UK brand but yeah the reason I picked these up no, don't start talking now. But the reason I picked these up is because they had a load of really unique colours. Yeah. These colours in particular caught my eye. They're very different to the usual colours that you get in a pack of pens. They're also on offer, which is another reason why I thought I'd grab them. But yeah, so far I've really enjoyed using them, so I've kept them in here. And these are now my go-to colouring pens when I want to do some colouring. So in the middle there is this, which is a little divider. And in here I just have my Papermate Flare pens that I use for writing like fancy text and stuff. I just prefer how these ones write. And they fit two per little pocket really well. Apart from this one, this one's a bit smaller and in here I just have my compact scissors from Flying Tiger. I got these a while ago but I'm pretty sure they still have them available. And then over this side I have all my other pens. So first of all I just have this ruler which is 15 centimeters. I then have a couple of pencils. This one is a Stadler pencil. It's just a HB pencil. I think I got this from WH Smith. This one is also a pencil. I was sent this in a swap I think. And this one is a mechanical pencil. I definitely like having the option to have a normal pencil and a mechanical one. I then have two highlighters these ones are by Sharpie so I have a yellow one and a pink one. I have a white gel pen which is a Uniball Signo. I'm pretty sure I got this from the range. Next I have a load of inky pens. These are my go-to writing pens. I always tend to go for a gel ink rather than a biro. So I have this one which has trees on. There is this one that has crocodiles on. This one has some red flowers on. This one's been made to kind of look like an ice cream or something. This one is a shark pen. This one has a load of cacti on. This one has triangles on and it says hello. There's then this one that has donuts on. This one has sprinkles on or like dashes or something. This one also has triangles on and says hello. And then this one is a cactus. So here is a little close up so you can see what the designs look like. I then have these pens which are ones that I use for titles. When I'm writing address labels and stuff like that, these are the pens that I go for. So I have this one which is a barrel fine. I think I have kind of squished this a bit. When I first got it, it was a lot pointier. I then have a black papermate flare. This did come with a set of colours but it doesn't fit fit in that divider bit in the pencil case so I've put it separately in here with the rest of my title pens. This one has a similar tip to the barrel one. But yeah this one I haven't used as much so it's not as squished. This one I also use a lot. This one is a Stablo green point. This one's nib is a lot softer so when you push down on it it does squish a lot more. Um, so technical. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely prefer writing with this one, I think. So I'd probably say I reach for this one a lot more than I do this one. But yeah, I still like having the option with them. And then I have these two, which are by Tombow. And these are brush tip pens. So I got these to kind of practice calligraphy and writing in a different style. These ones are specifically for calligraphy. One of them is a lot harder than the other one. I got both because I wasn't sure which one I prefer. If you're thinking of starting calligraphy or you want to have a go or practice more, I definitely recommend looking into these pens because I have found them really enjoyable to use and they're not too pricey either. I got these from Amazon so I'll try and leave direct links below. I then have my biro pens because I use my gel ink pens for writing and using my journals and stuff. When I want to write notes and just kind of scribbly bits of writing I tend to go for a biro. So I have a Bic Crystal for her pen. I then have my Gemma Corral Dancing Pug pen which you would have seen I got in one of my Paper Gang boxes. I then have these two pens which are from Paper Chase and I got this 
in one of my goodie bags from a blogger event. There's also a purple one which I don't have in here at the moment. This one writes in pink and this one writes in a dark blue. I then have this pen from Kiki K and this says be grateful today on the lid. I then have this one which I got from the card factory. Next I have three Stablo fine liners and then last of all I have my Coletto pens. The one I use the most at the moment is this one and this is actually one of my newest ones and in here I have a black refill, an orange one, a pink one and a green one. I then have this one that has a purple refill and then the rest are black. This one has a red refill, a orange refill, a blue refill and then a black one. And then this one just has some spare refills in so there's two black ones and a blue one. So that is everything that's in my pencil case at the moment. Make sure you check the description for links and information on anything I've mentioned in this video. If you do still have any questions though be sure to let me know and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. But the reason I picked these up is because they had some really different colours in them. But the reason I picked these up is because... But the reason I picked these... Seriously! <laughs> but the reason I picked these up is because they had... But the reason I picked these... But the reason I picked these up... But the reason I picked these up is be Dude! You, you've been really quiet up until this point. I know, I know. Look, I put your treat in there and everything to try and keep you quiet. But the reason I picked these up is because they had a... Is because they had is because they had seriously is because they had is because they had a <laughs> ah what am i gonna do